Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about a feature in Azure SQL Database Query Editor where the tables can be edited. We can edit the data present inside the tables. So this edit data feature we'll study. So here you can see we are in the Azure portal and has opened CK SQL DB, which is my Azure SQL Database. And we are inside the Query Editor section. In the Query Editor, we can see the different tables which are present inside the database view stored procedures. So here we'll open one of the tables. So here we have class 10 table. We'll select top few rows and we could see here there are few rows present here and two columns student ID and total marks. Now if we open the table back here right click there is another option called edit data which is in preview. So we'll click over edit data. It will open up this tab where it will show up the table name and the different options. First is to create new row. In the existing table, we can add new row. Save, refresh, discard and delete row. So we'll explore the first option that is to create new row. Click on create new row. Student ID. So after 19, let's say 20 will give and total marks 210. Okay, this looks fine. We have given. We'll click on save so that this data is saved into the dbo.class10 table. So let's click on save. The data is saved. We'll go back to the query and here we'll click on run. And we could see here the new data added 20210. So how this is beneficial to edit the data here itself. Okay, in the query editor of the SQL database in the Azure portal, here we can create new row. We can delete row. We can update the row values here itself. So create new row option we did. Now let's say explore delete row option. This delete row option is disabled. Once we click on one of the rows, it will be enabled. So we want to delete this row, first row, which is having student ID 11 and total marks 200. Click on delete row. It is deleted. We could see that it is deleted. We'll go back to the query section. And here we were seeing 11. Now, if we execute it, we could not see 11. 11 throw is deleted. Now, this is done. Now, let's say for the student ID 12, I want to update the total marks as 300. Okay. So, we'll click over that row. And here, we'll update the marks, total marks of this student to 300. And we'll click on save. Okay. This row is saved. We'll go back to the query section. We'll run. And we could see the total marks updated. Row value is updated for this total marks column. This feature is recently introduced into the query editor section of the Azure SQL database. So the day when this video is created, edit data preview feature is available in Azure SQL database in the portal. And we could make use of it to create new row, delete rows, then update the row values, etc. Okay, and since these services through Azure are continuously evolving, we could see new features being added to the existing services. I hope you've understood this new feature and will make use of it in the query editor of the Azure SQL database for the different tables. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning. Bye.